Hey guys, it seems like there's a new software aiming into a Canva audience. So it's a really, really large sector of the casual design business, you could say, because they create this easy to use web based editor. We got Canva and Adobe follows with Adobe Express. We got this recent try from Corel to make this Corel Draw Go that failed. And now, now we got another popular brand, actually. You may know this website here, Vect Easy. It's a really long standing stock website for vector graphics. And later on, they add photos and videos. I've been using this for years. And now, now they are built in editor when you can kind of assemble everything together into ready to use projects. So that's something that people use Canva for. So let's explore this new template feature in Vect Easy. So the main page is still the same. You can still search for your favorite vectors, photos and videos. And like in the past, some of them are free, some of them are paid. You can usually say by searching for like this free icon, paid icon. As you can see, there are thousands of them. So let's explore the old school basic feature first to show that it's still here. All right, that's the old stock search. And then we got all of those stocks we can download. If you see the free, that will be 100% free. We can just click on that and we can download that and use in Adobe Affinity Designer, CorelDRAW, Adobe Illustrator. No worries. So that was always a case for this page, but now they got a new thing. So if you head to more, you will see templates. And let's click see more templates. And here it is. That's kind of the front for what they try to do towards the casual design market. As you can see, we got different formats. We can create certificates, business cards, invoices, and stuff like that. So let's dive into, let's say certificate, because I know that's a really popular design format among casual users. All right, so here we are in the editor. And as you can see, first thing on the left are teams. So we can load ready to use designs and some of them are paid. So if I click on this one, they I will get prompt that this is pro content. So that's similar to, to Canva or Adobe Express. And we need to kind of dig a bit deeper to see the one with the free label. Okay. And then replace the current page and the design is loaded. That's the free template. And take a look, everything is editable, just like in Canva. So we can change the text. We can modify the font. We can change the color of the elements as well. Picking from the custom colors. There's a transparency slider. We can make stuff semi-transparent, so that's nice. So all of those control options are here. If you don't need the element, you can delete that from the design, no worries. And we can also add another page or duplicate existing page to make two slide design, let's say. Take a look, page number two. What will happen if I click download? Then I need to decide on the file type, PNG, JPEG, PDF. Let's go with PDF for print. All pages, download. Let's inspect that. And here it is, we got the proper PDF. All right, so that was easy. What if I try to use another template without this free toggle? Let's try that. Okay, they're saying to join Pro. Let's check this out, how expensive it is. All right, Pro unlimited downloads. All right, so that's the same Pro that some of you may already have for downloading the vector graphics. Okay, so here it is. They just add this into that existing subscription, I guess. So it's around seven bucks per month. That's the same subscription they have before. All right, so that's not bad. They did not increase the price on this side, on this end. 
But let's explore how much can we do in the free version because that's something that Core Draw messed up completely. You couldn't do anything on the free version, so they kind of lost with Canva with Adobe Express from the Gecko. But still, here we managed to make a certificate with changes and download the proper PDF without limitation. All right, let's head back to here to the editor and try out something else. As you can see, my design is still here. I can go back to it. It's saved in the cloud. Let's try another popular demand. That will be a post for social media. So let's say Instagram post. And again, we got blank page from the start and then we can explore templates here on the left. And you must Remember, the one without the free label, the paid one. So we need to kind of dig a bit deeper until we see free. Then we can click on that. And the four pages here, do you want to apply all four pages or just one? That will be up to you. I'll pick just one. Replace the current blank page. And here it is. There is an image in this design. So take a look. What do we have with images? We can remove the frame. We can remove the image. And we got blank space for putting the image in. Let's undo that. We can undo over here. All right. What's next? That's crop tool. So we can change the how the image is cropped in that shape. Done. Opacity and fit to background. No, that's not a good choice. Undo this time. I use Command Z for that. This rotation tool for the whole shape holding the image. All right, so we got enough control for casual users, I would say. Again, there's a text with editable font, size, color. Select the text, change the color. All right. Here we got shapes, so the vector based shapes, so we can modify the color easily and we can also scale them up and down. Take a look, that's the proper vector shape for you. All right, let's explore options here on the left. So far, I just play with the ready to use templates. There's a text tool when you can put a brand new text. And there are some ready to use signs and labels here as well. So we can put something like that. This is a group with multiple fonts. Let me delete some stuff. So we can see what's going on here. All right, we can zoom in and out here on the right. And this is kind of a label made by some other users when we can modify fonts. So take a look. Even this text is on the curve like that bent. We can still modify the text. And when you toggle out, it will be back to that label. So you just need to double tap this time because it's all grouped. So you need to double tap on the one you need to edit. All right, so that's also a nice addition. We can explore multiple ready to use labels here. All right, and then after text, we got elements with photos at the very top. Again, always try to search for free labels so we can use them for free. Then we got graphics divided into subcategories. Let's check this one out. Okay, and take a look. I was surprised to see this flower is actually a vector. So I can modify each color here separately. That's nice. Okay, we got different vector elements. And as you may guess, this website kind of provide stock vector graphics for years. So they're loaded with vector elements here. That's very nice. What else? Let me got emojis as the separate group here for some reason. Okay. Then we got frames. And that's the group that I would assume is for us to set up a shape and later on put some kind of image inside. So let's explore that option. Will that work? Similar to what is in in Canva or in Adobe Express. 
I don't see any kind of prompt for uploading image. I actually can modify the color inside this frame. That that's pretty weird because that should be a temporary, temporary image for just holding the shape. So I'm not sure what's going on here, but it's reacting like a regular shape. I don't see any option for me to put the image inside. And the last group is basic shapes. And now the big question is, what's the difference between a regular basic vector shape and that frame we just explore? All right, this basic shape, we can change the color of this. We can have multiple shapes, of course. We can come and see, come and view. We can copy and paste them around. We can do some interactions between them. So if I select two basic shapes, you have option to group them. Those two objects are a group now. So that's what we can do with shapes. We can group several shapes to get new unique shapes. And now, now I want to find out how action I can actually put images into those shapes, both regular shapes and frames. Can we really do that? Let's head to photos, see all. Let's load a picture like that. And how can we now crop this into the shape? Can we do that? I'm not sure. That's my first look into this software. So I'm exploring this with you guys. And let's see, edit image. We can do some image editing actually. Take a look, we can remove the backdrop. That's nice, that's surprisingly fast effect. There are some preset, we can adjust the brightness, saturation. All right, so that's pretty nice editing panel for images, I would say. All right, but how can I actually, how can I crop that into something else? All right, so I, I failed to use the shape or the frame shape to crop my picture. That's still a mystery to me. I don't see any single button indicating uh, cropping or clipping option for us. We got on the right side here, we got select all, we got our orders, we can push something backward or forward on the layer panel, we got uh, alignment, we can flip the object horizontally, vertically, we can lock it so there will be no mistake selection, so we can duplicate the whole thing or delete it, but I don't see an uh, option to clip two elements together. So that's something that is still a mystery to me. But let's move forward and explore the next section, backgrounds. All right, this is really straightforward. We can just modify the backdrop in the existing project. All right, that's actually interesting, this separate section here. Then we got apps. So as in Canva or Adobe, Express, we can expect some extensions. There's one that I activated already called layers. That's the app when I can move the layers around. We can switch on and off visibility, log or delete. So that's here. And there's my file. So we can upload stuff from our computer. Take a look after I activate the app for the first time. It's here on the left. We got QR code generators. We got styles as well here. All right, so all of that is hidden in apps category. And I hope we can expect more to come here. The whole panel can be folded like that, so we got more space for our design. And as I mentioned before, we can zoom in and out. One project can hold multiple pages. When you need to print them out or just publish online, click download at the top and select the format. For print, they recommend PDFs for web PNG. So that's nice, but take a look. There's also an option for transparent backdrop. That's for free. So that's a paid option in, in Canva. And here we can use that for free. So that's nice, but something that is not free is resize. If you take a look at the top, resize is a pro feature and that's the same way as in Canva. And that's a bit predatory in my opinion that if somebody make the project in the wrong size and just want to change the size of it at the end, uh, you try to charge them. So that's not something I can approve. All right. The project is safe in the cloud. We can always start a new project. We can present existing project in the full screen. So that's nice. 
then there's also a share option so we can share like people can see it online or we can collaborate so we can invite somebody to make changes in the project as well all right so that's what it is a new alternative to canva so if you are bored about canva predatory ai training practices that's something that you can try okay it's not perfect, but it got really solid fundamentals and we can use it for free, not like the core Go. So I will leave the link at the bottom so you can check it out all by yourself. And it's from a really solid publisher, I would say, because this website is around for a really long time. Fact easy. We've been using that for SVGs, for PNGs for years now, and now they got their own editor. All right, so that's what I want to show you today. That was my first look into this new graphic software. Maybe I will do something more about it later on when they keep adding some new features. Thank you for today. See you in the next one. Bye.